Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you guys. I have a Goodwill thrift haul for you guys today. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. So I'm sorry for the glare, but I can't see without my glasses. I try to take them off. I'll take them off and see how long I can last. Usually I do pretty good, but I hate not being able to see you. So anyway, this is just a random haul. Um, I've been wanting to do a thrift flip video for some, quite some time now. So while I was out today, I grabbed a few things and I thought that I would share them with you before I DIY them. So I'm just grabbing at random. I found one of the one of my favorite items that I've ever found. I'm just like I said, I'm just gonna grab at random and let's go. So the first thing I saw was this wood. I guess somebody tried to make a ladder, but it it's not um, very well constructed. And even though it's just a few pieces of wood, um, it doesn't have a price tag. So I asked how much it was. It was only $1.99. All the pieces are cut, so I figured why not. So um, it's pretty good size. I figured I could, you know, fix it up. And then you could either display it this way or this way. Um, I really need to fix that wobble. They just used like nails um, and they didn't hammer them in, in too good. So yeah, anyway, um, I picked up this. So that was $1.99. This was also $1.99. It's just this little tiny basket, I guess. I don't really know what you want to call it, but I thought that this would be so cute to paint um, you know, fix it up and then put some greenery in here or just some knickknacks. So I picked up one of those, obviously. <laughs> Not many things have a pair. Some things do, but this was a lone, like a lonely item. So the next item I picked up, I had my kids in mind. I saw my friend Nicole over at the Weeks Nest make this little sign for her girls a while back. And I think it said something along the lines of like, I made this or something like that. And it had clips at the bottom so that the kids could hang their artwork from it. And I just thought that that was so cute. And now that my girls have a room of their own or a room to share, I should say, I figured this would be super cute to paint and do the same idea with and put it up in their room. Um, even my one year old loves to draw. Both of them love to draw and color. so. Um, I picked this up. This was $5.99. Now, I don't know. I could definitely make it for much cheaper, but it's pretty heavy. The clips are already on there. All I have to do is paint it and then, like, put a decal or use my chalk couture. Um, so, that's, that was my thinking with this. So, anyway, picked up this, $5.99, like I said. The next item I picked up, I was so excited to see this. It is a huge tobacco basket. I mean, look how big this thing is. I mean, here's my head in the middle. Can you guys see my eye? <laughs> Probably not, but anyway, it's literally the size of my upper body. And it was only $2.99. Now, it's a little messed up. It's like broken in places, cracked. It's just worn. It's loved, it's used, and for $2.99, I like the rustic look anyway. I, my taste is more towards the modern these days, but I still do love the rustic look. And for $3.99, I knew that I could doll this up and make it look brand new. Okay, the next item I picked up, um, once again, thinking along the lines of my girls, maybe, I don't know, possibly even something for myself. I'm not sure until I do it. But this, I believe this is like a little chalkboard, like a vintage chalkboard. I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments. But it has this little ledge here where I think like chalk goes because it's rounded like the old chalkboards were. Do you guys remember having actual chalkboards in the classrooms? Like my kids are like, what? They have literally no idea, but I remember holding the chalk in my hand 
and writing on the board and like hating that sound like nails on a chalkboard oh but anyway this is kind of like a weird it's not a chalkboard material so I'm not sure you guys but my thinking was to paint it make it a chalkboard so that my girls have a cute little chalkboard to play on who knows we'll see but this was two dollars even and again it's pretty good size it's lightweight so I could probably hang it on the wall with just a command strip so super excited to DIY this one I'm gonna try to not edit this as well this is how you guys I'm gonna try to get as many videos up per week as I can but I'm gonna try to just do as little editing as possible because editing is what takes the longest time so anyway this is another item for my girls. If you guys want to see like a separate video of doing the decor for them, let me know or do you just want me to include it in the thrift flip video. So I picked this up. It's got little hearts at the top and it is like a little decor shelf. You just probably set little knickknacks on it. And I thought this would be super cute for my girls or I could either sand it down and stain it which sounds like too much work for me so I'll probably paint it and then I can always cover this part with like a wooden plank or a sign or something and put I don't know what on there but I could put something and cover that up so let me know in the comments what you guys think should I do this up for my girls or do you think I should do this in like my farmhouse style oh and this was this was $2.99 okay so I have like four items left I'm gonna show you guys my favorite 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 item that I found I walked in the door and I could see it and I didn't go to it immediately but I knew that if by the time I had gotten to it nobody had picked it up then I was gonna take it no matter what are you guys ready it's so cute okay so let me start by saying it's $6.99 let me move back because it's it's a it's pretty good size so it is a mini hutch you guys know how I feel about many things look at it <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I know, I'm acting like a little kid, but you guys, I saw it and I was like, look at that mini hutch. I made a mini fireplace. I'm just like into anything mini. I'm a sucker for mini things. So, I don't know. Like, look, the bottom little cabinet is, or, you know, yeah, drawers, doors. I don't know what, I don't know what you want to call these right this second. My mind is just like ADHD, it's so bad. So I lose my train of thought, but it works. Look at that. So I, I'm not really a big fan of like this chicken. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that chicken. So I called my husband and I was like, help me think because I love this in itself, but I'm not a fan of the roosters. <laughs> Chickens, roosters, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a big fan. So I was thinking I could cut them out something, but they provide stability to the edges. So I don't know, you guys. This one I'm definitely going to have to think on. But can you believe I found a mini hutch? Like, what? Okay, now that I have like drooled over that thing for long enough. Okay, so this is the last like DIY item, you know, item that I will DIY. So, whoa, <laughs> um, this uh, again for my girls, it's got hearts on it and it's like this little corner shelf. I figured I could put like dress it up, paint it up, fix it up for them. It's got some staples coming out of it, like it's coming apart in spots, which again, no big deal. I can fix that. But I thought that it would be really cute like in the corner by their 
um, Barbie houses or, you know, whatever the case may be. My daughter loves stuff like this. She is a mini me through and through. My five-year-old getting ready to be six. We tell her all the time, like, slow down, girl, because she's just so big and so smart and she thinks she's grown and I just want them to slow down. It goes by way too fast. But anyway, she's like her mother. She loves stuff like this. So I kind of want to surprise her with a few of the things that I make because she's so sweet. She always tells me my stuff is so beautiful and wow, good job, mom. And she's just so sweet. So I wanted to take the time out to make a few things for her new room. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, do you think that I should do a whole video thrift flipping things for their room? Or do you think I should just put it all in one video and, well, <laughs> I should say as many as I can get done in one video. If I need to do a part two, I can do a part two. Um, but anyway, you guys, that is it for the decor stuff, the DIY stuff the stuff that I will paint and redo. Okay, so I thought that was the last craft item, but I found this one in my car. This is an actual like picture sign. It says, count your blessings. This time of year, I see a lot of fall stuff at Goodwill because, um, you know, people are getting rid, of, getting rid of their Christmas and their fall stuff. So I feel like I saw this somewhere at fall time, but I can't remember where I saw it at. But anyway, I thought this was super cute. It was $1.99. I know all I have to do is just get a little bit of acetone, remove those words, pull that, you know, pull this out, and you can totally redo this. So cute, so high end for two bucks. Now I only have two more items. I'm sure you guys really don't care about this stuff. Um, and I usually don't really look through the clothes just because I really don't have the patience for it. But I found this cute little sweater for Sophia. It matches one of mine. Again, she's a mini me. She loves to match her mom. She has a sweater that matches this one. So I picked that up for her, one little sweater. And then at the new house, we don't really have much over there. And when we're over there working, the kids get super bored. So I saw this dollhouse for $4.99. The girls love their dollhouses. It's a little dirty, but nothing like some soap and water can't help. I'll stick it in the tub and I will, ouch caught my fingernail in that house but I'll stick it in the tub and I will you know wash it down let it air dry and then this will be perfect for the new house just for now until we can get their stuff over there and I thought at five bucks you can't beat it and hopefully my Bella girl she likes to be in everything else but her toys so I don't know Fingers crossed, say a prayer for me that it works because my husband and I are trying to get stuff done, but Izzy just wants to be held. And I and I would love to hold her all the time as well, but when you're trying to get stuff done, it's just like, I'm trying to get stuff done. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know down in the comments which item was your favorite. I have a feeling you guys are gonna side with me and say that the little hutch was your favorite because that's one of those items that you don't come by every day. So anyway, you guys, with all that being said, don't forget to do all the youtube -y things. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm really trying to get us to 100,000 subscribers. I've been working on this channel for three years and I couldn't do it without you guys. So don't forget to share this video out. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because all those things help YouTube to notice me a bit more and it helps my channel grow. So let's get to 100K. I love you guys so much. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.